Hello, and, and welcome, welcome back, back to Here We Tow. We're staying at Bath Chew Valley Caravan Site, which is a five pennant site, platinum standard, and it's situated between Bath and Bristol. It has approximately 50 hard standing pitches altogether, of which around 39 are fully serviced. So join us as we have a look around the site and see what we think of it. Come on. So once you come through the entrance, you'll pull your caravan and motorhome here in the small lay-by and then you'll make your way to reception to check in where you'll obtain a barrier code for the barrier. So come on, let's go check in. So once you've parked up, you'll make your way to the reception. It's open nine till 12 and one till five. So we'll go in and we'll get checked in. Once you come in, this is where you'll do the check-in. You'll be given information about the site and also a code for the barrier. What happens here at the site is a valet sighting service. So you'll unhitch just out there where we saw earlier and the staff will take you to your pitch. While they're doing that, why don't we go and have a look at the toilet facilities that are on offer here at Bath Chew Valley. They are amazing. Come on, let's go and have a look at those next. There are a number of these individual toilet and shower facility cubicles for personal use. There's several of them on the site and there's also a fully adapted disabled one which will be easy to access if you do have mobility issues. We'll have a look inside these and see what you think. And here we are inside one of them. As you'd expect from a five pennant caravan and motorhome site, it's of a very good standard. These all have central heating, so in winter they are as warm as toast if you have to come out in the middle of the night. There's a good size shower, which is obviously included in the price, your own little toilet, hand basin, and there's a shaving point above the light. There's also obviously uh, hand wipes there to dry your hands on, and the toilet paper is also included. Close to the reception is the chemical disposal. It is inside as well, which makes it a bit easier if it's pouring down. So that's easily reached. Obviously with the, most of the pitches being fully serviced, you'll have your water and your wastewater there. So you don't need to worry about that. But there are points situated around the park that we can go and have a look at. The utility room is really well equipped. There's a sink for hand washing your clothes. And then there's two for washing up where some cloths and sponges are provided. There's also a freezer down here for the use of, of campers, or also if you haven't got enough room in your own freezer in the van or motorhome. The utility room has an ironing board and iron, and it's lovely and warm, having central heating. Back here, there are two washing machines and tumble dryers. They're easy to use. These are the washers down here. Once you put your clothes in, it'll cost three pounds for a wash, and you bob your own powder in. If you haven't brought your own powder, they do sell it in the shop, so you won't be stuck. And then there's the tumble dryers. The tumble dryers are 80 pence for 16 minutes. So it'll probably be about four pounds 60 for a full load and a tumble dry. Once you've checked in at reception, you may wish to come back and look at some of the information about the area. There is loads to see and do, and there's a little information room back here 
Also in here, we've got the internet kiosk, which is free to use. The site does have internet, although there is a small charge for that, which you can then do yourself online. However, if you want to just get some information about the local area, you can use their internet kiosk. So I'll let you have a look around here with me. If you like collecting leaflets, there's loads here. It'll give you a good idea about what you might want to do on your visit. You might not want to do anything, but if you do, there's information here. Obviously, we are very close to the large Chew Valley Lake. And we also have some information here about fishing there and the fishing news, because many of you may be coming here to make use of the lake. Conservation is a big thing here at Bath Chew Valley. And there's some information here all about it. We also have a few more what to do bits and there's a massive book library. So if you find yourself at a loose edge and don't know what to do, why not borrow a book? Bath Chew Valley is a dog friendly park, so if you've got a dog, you're welcome to bring it along. Here's a dog walk on the site. It's called Pups Parade. They're a bit posh in Bath. In Yorkshire, it's called a dog walk. But here it is. There's a gate at this end there's a dog leg and there's a gate at the other end so it is secure. Dogs must still be on a lead though on the walk at all times. There's also bins for your dog poop and as it says on the sign pick up your deposits. I don't want to tread on that. We're going to take Fudge on a little walk around the dog walk to try it out so you can come with us. If caravanning and motorhoming isn't your thing, you can still come to Bath Chew Valley. They have this lovely wooden lodge that you can hire, comes complete with a double bed for those nights of romance. So you can book this, even if you've got friends that are staying on the site as well, in their leisure vehicles. They've got all bases covered at Bath Chew Valley. On the woodland walk, here are some of the birds you might see. Not really into birds. Come on. On the walk, there's various signs dotted around about the sort of nature you may or may not see here in the woods. There's also a couple of lovely benches, so if the weather's right, you can sit out, maybe bring a flask and have a brew. Meerkats. Bath Chew Valley in their woodland walk have a number of exciting facts. Here it says that a wood mouse may only be tiny, but it can do 80 poos a day. Wow, must be worn out. Oh cool, look at this. There's an owl. There's plenty more to see on the Woodland Walk, so we'll let you discover the rest. Here's an example of one of the lovely fully serviced pitches at Bath Chew Valley. Once your caravan's been sighted here with the valet sighting service, you can put your awning up. The cars don't go on the pitch with you though. They remain in the car park for the duration of your stay, unless you're unloading or you have someone with mobility issues. So it does have a lovely quiet feel about the park, no cars driving round backwards and forwards. On this pitch, you can see the service point is over in the corner. We'll go and have a look at it. And here it is. I'm sure you've seen these before. You've got your drinking water tap, your grey waste disposal down here. We've got a TV aerial point and of course, your electric hookup. So that's what you'll get on your fully serviced pitch here at Bath Chew Valley. As we walk around the park, you may notice Christmas lights are out. That's because we're getting towards Christmas 
At Christmas time, Bath Tree Valley put on a great spread of lights. They look amazing. Tonight we're going to go out and get some footage, so you'll be able to have a look too. The site is only a few hundred metres from a lovely village and there there's a fantastic shop that stocks literally everything and also a pub where you can get a nice meal. It's a rather expensive price by my standards. However, there is a sign here on the site that shows you that there is a footpath directly to the village. That direction. However, right now we're not going that way. We're going that way, back to our caravan. In summary, we really enjoyed our stay at Bath Chew Valley. It is an adult only site and Fudge certainly enjoyed it as well. If you're interested in further details about the site, these can be found on their website, including prices. And there's also a great discount offer available for return visitors. Details of all this are on their website, so why not have a look and thanks for watching.